Why? Whoa. Hello, everybody. Well, if you this is it. This is going to be the very last ever, 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 ever episode of my own show. Yeah, because I don't think I'll be having my own show ever again. Yeah, because I am getting a bit old. See? But of course, I'll still carry on on to the Hairfest specials, but I won't be on my own show, though. That's all. But anyway, viewers, now, today, me and George Buxton are looking back at some of the greatest moments since Series 5 began. Which door the box is too much? Oi! I heard that! <laughs> oh, hello, everybody. Well, viewers, you heard from what No Hair said. This was his very last ever episode of his own show. Uh, yeah, I feel a bit sorry for him, though. <laughs> Except for he called me a 2000 year old man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Well, I hate it, but you stopped me. Well, I hate it, but you called me a 2,000 year old man. Uh, anyway, no, but speaking of 2,000 year old man, uh, do you remember the time but when you watched Up Pompeii uh, with your friends at the time of home? Yeah, I remember watching it. Ooh, especially the 2,000 year old bit. That's the best bit I liked. <laughs> what did you talk about? What did you say? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's carry on with this clip. Oh yes. What George Buxton to do about you? Ah! No hair? What did you say? Nothing. Oh. Alright then. What George Buxton to do about you? Alright. What George Buxton to do about you? George Buxton. George Buxton. What? Well you're not attempting to be calling me too fast year old are you? No. Ooh! So I see that young man over here has won the bingo! Well, I'm going to say, uh, not too loud, but I'm going to say, that's uh, not. Bingo! Uh, no hell, who is the bingo of the house? I'll be quiet, Minky Poo Poo! Oh! That was when you always call me a tooth as you are, and they've got stuck it on your head now! Oh. Sorry, George. Oh, that's all right. Oh, and uh, do you also remember the time from when you played some V-Rally games from your bear cave? Yeah, I remember. Ooh, because I haven't played V-Rally games for a while. But I've enjoyed the V-Rally 2, uh, arcade festival. Straight lines. Oh, and of course, I'll help with the first one. Oh, okay. Just let me concentrate, please. Oh, at least I get to see that bit. Well, no, Beth, you are now a proper e money 2 champion! Yay! I won! <laughs> and now to, uh, to save that terrible feature of that hobby! Oh, no. Here we go again. Right, I'm going to do it again. Here we go. Champion, did you think all the glass? Oh no, don't you? And that was no. when you were a proper female champion. After all these years that you and I have done together. Oh yeah. Oh, anyway, uh, George, uh, do you also remember the time uh, for when I've had a fight against Poe? Because I always do tend to wake him up. Oh yeah, I remember the boxing match. Yeah, because you and Poe had a bit of an argument last time, haven't you? 
Ja. friends with her now. Well, I'm glad you do. Oh, and speaking of friends, uh, do you remember time for when Poe comes into the retirement of home for the first time? Yeah, I remember, because when we watched another BBC classic comedy. Well, I'm glad you remember. Oh, hello, po. Mr. Poe. Oh, hello there. I'm Binky, and uh, this is Deirdre. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Mr. Poe. Same to you, Deirdre. And who do you, Binky? Oh, okay. Right, come and sit with us. Oh, okay, okay. Right, uh, oh. Oh, do you what, though? I don't think we've got enough room in this chair. Why don't you sit onto George's lap? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, is it alright if I sit on your lap? I, I mean, I can't sit on a chair because there's not enough room. Oh, yeah, that's fine then, Poe. Go on then. No, and anyway, they already got fingers, so they're not going to do finger backwards or anything like that. And besides, the first part was only rated PG. Oh, but good choice. Oh, yes. And this is Penny the second part. Only has rated 15 certificate, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but see, you get PG in part one first, then part two for 15. Oh. That was when you and Poe became good friends of a time at a home now. Oh, yeah. It's just because of, I know that Poe always likes to sleep. Such a lazy old get, which George Busters. I have not lazy old get. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> what do you think you're playing at? You maybe use the wrong words again. <laughs> God, you. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> anyway, no, but now, um, do you also remember the time for when you took China out uh, for a walk in the garden because seen as it is your dog now? Yeah, I remember taking China for a walk. Ooh, it was a very good walk. <laughs> that is my time for my dog! Well, here we are then. We're back in the garden again. Ooh, I'm so glad. Ah, there it is, China. Now, there's that very bit in which your wonderful pot was just down there. Oh, yeah! I remember! Perhaps the last couple of years ago! That's right, China! It is! Mm. Oh! Well, that went into the pond! <laughs> so that should be a good thing for China! Yeah. What if you could go round the other way? Oh! That might work! Alright! Let's see if I can do it myself! Got it! Oh, well! <laughs> Oh, China! Now you've got to drop the ball in there! What?! Oh! You've oh, got to oh, oh, The dog walk was very successful. Hmm. No thanks to your stupid antics. I don't do stupid antics. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, yes, you do. Uh, no, I am not arguing this. Cut it out! Oi! <laughs> Oh, fat it! But well, I'm going to promise about too fat. Oh, uh, to say, busy video, as I haven't done that for ages. <laughs> oh, get off, mate! Oh, I defeated that away! Get off! Oi! 
Why is no have that? Always causing trouble. Dopey boy, I am not dopey. <sighs> Never mind. Uh, anyway, is there anything else that I forget I can remember? Um, let me have a little think. Oh, I'll say my first whilst I have a little think. That's so weird. Yeah. That's all right, no bear. I thought of another one now. Do you remember watching on the buses, DVD, when it was on a movie? Yeah, I remember watching it, because I was with my family. Oh, yeah, it's the same, not, it's not the same without Ted, is it? Because mm, otherwise, he would have enjoyed that movie. Ah, uh, yeah, I know he would. Yeah, he sure would have. Don't be sure today. <laughs> Ow! Oh, boy, say, Abby. Uh, yeah, for some person like you. What did I hear that? Oh, uh, yes. Um, I also heard that something you called John Beeson two thousand years old. Why that? Oh, uh, because it's true, Abby. Uh, every time when I put a cup up, Pompey, and every time when I see a funny warning, I always just say, in front of George's back, no, you know, like, George Baxter is too bad you are. Ah! Oh, yeah! Don't stress for you, you're too bad you are! No, I'm going to get this back, you're going to get out of my side! So what are you going to do? Are you stupid, Nick? I can't get out! I? But I thought I was going to get this back to her now. And that's why On the Buses was the best comedy on ITV, and then it turns into a movie. Wow. Very exciting, eh, George? Yeah, very exciting. Oh, speaking of exciting things, um, do you remember having a fish and chips takeaway with sausage? Yeah, I remember. Ooh, it's just because um, I especially enjoyed, well, not a curry sauce. Yeah, I remember that as well, because that is a little bit hot, hot, hot. Ah, yeah. Now, telling me, here is something that you would like. What's that? It's this. Fish, chips. And sausage in there. Oh, fish chips and sausage! Woohoo! Let's have a look. Ah, so you did choose sausage and chips. Uh, yeah, that's right. Now, although it, I had to include fish on that one because it's part of a fish special. Ah, well, I didn't know they had that in there. Uh, which restaurant was it? Ah, that was Polats. Oh, yeah, you taught me that already. Ooh, I'm going to have a little sniff. Hmm, something smells fishy in here. <laughs> get it, George? Something smells fishy? Yeah, I get you there, but something smells fishy. Good one. Alright, and I'll tell everyone what we're having. Alright, whoa. Oh, what a good boy, Dad. Hmm, let's have a sniff again. Yep, it's definitely fishy in here. Yeah, I might as well enjoy it anyway. Oh, it's part of my night. <gasps> Now for some chippies! Oh, oh, and I see you include the sausage! Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because you see, I don't want to miss out on the sausage, so I thought I'd choose this one. Good for you, George. Yeah, but can I try the uh, curry sauce? Uh, yeah, sure thing. Now... <sighs> Alright, George, so what do you want me to do with this ketchup? Right, when you finish with it, put that down, but no hair. Don't squirt it on me face. Don't what? Squirt it in me face. Oh, okay, I'm going to do it. Ah, no, no, no. Oh. And that was when oh, the chips takeaway was very successful. <laughs> that is, until you squirt it with that ketchup on me face. Oh, sorry, George. Mm. <sniffs> oh, that's okay, go there. Well, I know it wasn't your fault. It, you could get up. Um, all right. Oh, and I also, oh, speaking of squirting a ketchup, did I used to say I'd do the same on the homemade chicken nuggets? Yes, I'm afraid you did. Oh, and, and, and I also remember the homemade chicken nuggets bit. Ooh, that was the one I just told you about, didn't I? Yup, that was on the 20th episode, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Because the homemade chicken nuggets were now, very tasty. Now, taste up now, and see if you've had Burger King chicken nuggets before. Would you like to give those a try first? Uh, well, I like it. Of course you'll like it. Thank you for a treat, no hair. Oh, I like special treats. Ah, uh, yeah, I know you do. Alright, now, I, I suppose you want to give one chicken nugget a try first, do you? Yup. Alright then. Uh, let's see, which one, which one? Ah, this one will be good. Alright, now, 
See what I mean here? That is the homemade chicken nugget because I cooked it with Rob's help. Oh, I see. Well, I must well pick that up and eat it. Yeah, that's fine. Well, actually, I'll have a little taste. Well, Derbet, um, what do you think of the chicken nugget? Well, it looks okay. Hmm. But I think I liked it. Oh, well, Derbet, I'm so proud of you. See, we all need to try new things. Yeah, I suppose so. You've yeah, never had wedges before. Well, I might give a try about chicken nuggets. Huh? <gasps> <gasps> And now to try on the wedges. Oh yes, and I remember the beets. Yeah, I didn't mean to blow off last time. Well, I'm about to give them a go. Yum, yum. Delicious. Thank you. Oh, uh, huh? What do you have to say? Oh, excuse me. Yeah, sorry about that. Do you want some more ketchup on your plate? Mm. Yes, please, sir. Well, come on. Give it to me. chicken nuggets because it's healthier. Wow. Well, good job then, Mr. Buxton. High five for that. Yeah, high five. Ooh. Well, Norbert, um, do you remember the time from when you were a little bit ill? You know, when you got a cough and a cold? Yeah, I remember. Especially a choice like that bit, which I get to sneeze at you. I'm going to sneeze right now. Right, tickle my nose. Uh, are you sure about that? Oh, just do it. Ugh, all right, that's what you want. Here you are then. That's worse than last time, Daddy boy. <laughs> Join the clip. <laughs> I'll you know a bit. For your sneeze, you! Sorry! Oh, that's alright. Anyway, I'll go up a hanky. Right, just blow it on here. Then. <laughs> Yuck. Uh, uh, stay in bed, Nerva, because I don't want you to run too much, because it'll make you feel worse. Stay with me. All right, Fierce, right. I think Arthur will be coming to visit the hair bear today. Uh, Arthur, come and see your granddad. He's very ill at the moment. Oh, all right. Howdy. Hello, Bibbidi Bobby. Oh, hello, granddad. How are you feeling? I don't feel very well, Arthur, because you see, I've got a small sore throat. That means I've lost my voice, and I've also got a cold. Oh, oh. Granddad, oh, you really are an old man. Uh, George, how's house's temperature? Well, I'll have a feel. Hmm, do you know what, Arthur? He does seem a bit warm, so that means he'll have to stay in bed. Oh, I see. So that's the reason why uh, my granddad's got a cough and a cold. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, except he hasn't got, actually got a cough. He's, got, he's lost his voice. And that was when you could feel completely better after a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. Oh, speaking of another illness, uh, do you also remember that when I've had a bit of a back problem? Ah, oh, what, you mean a cramp on your back? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, because you were just trying to lift a bear cave up on your own. Although you could have asked for help, though. Oh, I'm a fairy after all that. <laughs> well, enjoy it. Oh, oh, no! Oh. Oh no, my back is cramping. Help! George! Help me! Huh? Hey, what's going on? Oh, George! Help me! <laughs> Alright, don't panic, Arthur. I'm coming, I'm here now. Help me! My back is killing me! Uh, are you alright, Arthur? No! My back is killing me! 
Him, are you? No, I'm not, Arthur. Besides that, Arthur, I think your granddad needs to learn a lesson on how to ask for help before trying to lift it by himself. Otherwise, he could have hurt his back, which he is now. And that's why oh. your back is completely better. Have a good stretch. Right. <coughs> oh, Look at this noise. Shut up. Oh. All right, God. I stop it now. Uh, anyway, God. Um. Do you remember the time that when I watched Yogi Bear? Ah, oh, what, you made the first film of Yogi Bear? Yup! Oh yeah, I remember that one too, because you were, uh, because you were such a fan of Yogi Bear, and he was your hero. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a good thing, that was a video that you bought from Dorchester, yeah? yeah? That's right, it is. Oh yeah, so that's, uh, Purple Letters for, for Copyright Warning. Oh, what is it? It's a typing one. That's almost as good as maybe to video itself. Yeah, that's right. That's way before video collection was invented. Uh, this one's from 1985, by the way. Oh, that's a very long time. Ah, uh, yeah, you're telling me again. I'll let you enjoy it yourself. Very well. Here we go. Oh yeah, so that's the preview I remember. Oh, I'll see you first. Woo! Bang! Oh, heaven! Woo! Woo! Alright, now that is the first bit, which the thing I didn't realize that it's Yogi Bear! Ha 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 in the morning. Excuse me for saying so. It's not two o'clock in the morning. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. We enjoyed watching the Yogi Bear film until we continued on episode thirty-two. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, do you remember watching another Yogi Bear film which is starring the Space Bears? Yeah, I remember because it's all about Snooloo. Oh yeah. Arthur's <laughs> favourite. Oh, oh. oh. Snooloo. Oh, yeah. I knew that because Snooloo is a little lady. Yogi, isn't that right, Abby? Yep, it sure is. And I didn't realize there was a little bear called Snooloo. Ah, well, I didn't know that either, Abby. Well, I'm going to say those sweet nothings in your ear. Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Ah! Until the next couple of us, George and I heard about specials. Uh, yeah, that's right. But when we get to watch the DVD of it. Oh, do you remember this, Nova? Oh, uh, speaking of which, Nova, um, do you remember your birthday on the 30th episode? Yeah, I remember the 30th episode. Ooh, but that's when I got all these videos and stuff. Yeah, that's right. It is. Wow. 
it was really successful back then. Oh, from uh, me and off. All right, uh, now that you can uncover your eyes now. All right. Happy birthday. Oh, so I see that you can't forgot me. A DVD of Yogi Bear. Oh, and I see it says, I don't know Croyd has Yogi. And just in a boo-boo. Oh, and I see it says, Life's a picnic. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Ha, oh, what's this? The Flintstones. The Flintstone Flyer and Hot Lips Hannah Girl. Ooh. Well, I didn't ask her for the Flintstones. Hmm, but I'll enjoy that one, though. Uh, the next time when I have a time to for all toys, of course. But well, I'll put that to one side. Oh, yes. Here we are. Oh, that's not very brilliant, but I remember watching. Oh, well, I'm glad you remembered it, though. Yeah, I thought you might like to have that video as of your own. Ooh. For goodies, for goodies at a beanstalk, we earn a bonfire of an OK TV. Wow, that's a video that you got for me. Uh, yeah, that's right. Well, she does that, but you don't like till death to us part. For a minus, we'll replace that one. This video's just to make up for it. Oh, thank you, George. I think you deserve a cryptic slobbery kick. <laughs> Thanks, Dad, but, oh, I need it. All right, then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stop licking your key, mate, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really need that, yo. Yeah. <laughs> that was when you enjoyed your birthday. By looking back at your prehistoric past first, and then we go over to the presents. Oh, yup. Yeah. Oh, speaking of birthdays, do you also remember post-birthday, the one that became a grumble pants? Yeah, that's right. And I remember Poe's birthday. Yeah, because he doesn't like birthdays quite often. Oh, well, not since he was a bear cop, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Not since he was a bear cop. Not when since. Not when Oh, that's it. I'm going to scratch you for that. Check this. The whole thing is don't do it. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, stop catty, buddy. Stop catty, buddy. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Oh, stop catty. Ah. sleep on your birthday, but well, I don't care what well, you have to, because otherwise you'll get no presents. Yeah, but that's what I will not get. That's George, get out of my life! And that means no presents, no cake, no balloons. Oh, you don't have balloons, do you? No. Well, no balloons, Dad. I'm also to my point. No birthday parties! Oh, but Poe, but everyone has to have a birthday party, or well, I don't want one. Well, and here's my early progressive. Right! Po! Po! Now, you listen to me this minute. Now, I don't think you are Grumpy Polar Bear. Why? <sighs> because, Polar Bear, I haven't actually had my birthday for a very long time. Well, not since I was a little polar bear cub. <gasps> what? Little bear cub? No. Oh. So that's the reason why you were grumpy, because you haven't had your birthday for a long time. No, and it's also my first one when I'm alone. Ah, oh, I see. Hey, don't worry, Poe. Well, I'm sure you'll have a good time, as you used to be, when you were a little calm. Oh, yeah, I hope so. Well, I sure hope this party will go well. Yeah, of course it'll go. Right, come on then, Poe. I want to be back. Uh, are you sure? Uh, I mean, I'm a bit fat like you. Oh, don't worry. I'm used to that. Right, all right. Um. All right, now, man. Let's fly away. Oh, oh guy. I will. Hey! <laughs> oh, look at me! I'm flying! <laughs> Boy, I have a bit of funny here. Oh, no! Ah! Oh, my head! Ah! 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 has celebrated his birthday. Although he didn't know he enjoyed it, though. But I'm also glad you whispered in his ear, Happy birthday, and he said thank you to you. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, George, do you remember uh, for when um, 
when I first met Shigeru again, at uh, this time, he's an old bear. Yeah, I remember Shigeru, because Shigeru was an old Japan bear now. And aren't you glad that he's in the retirement of home? Uh, that he's going to be living there forever? Yup. Well, glad you do, no bear. I'm glad you do. <laughs> oh, deary me. Oh, you gave me such a scare as always. Oh, uh, same here. I want to see your voice has changed. Uh, yes, that means I am a very old bear. Very old bear? No. Yeah, that's right. Uh, anyways, ni hao. Oh, ni hao to you, Shigeru. Yeah, nice to meet you again, old buddy. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. No Hair Bear. Here we are, then, uh, Shigeru. Now, see? That is the Retirement of Pearl Troll Toys. The very place where I used to be at the first one. Oh, is that what you heard about, Rare Bear? Oh, yup. That's right, Shigeru. It is. And see my friends there? That's me, Key. Dear Tree and Poe. Oh, well, I sure hope I'll get used to meeting some new friends. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Hee <laughs> hee, he called me my lady. Hee <laughs> hee Oi, get your fucking toys off my girlfriend. Hey! Stinky, what did you do that for? What did you do that for? What? 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 What's weird, dear Tree? What the fuck? Call me, Hebe. Uh-oh. Now it is a bit of a time of the fraud toys now. And I'm glad he stayed there forever. Yup, uh, yeah, because I have no shake room for a long time. Since TV special number 91. Well, I'm glad you do, Nerbet. Oh, uh, do you also remember the time, Nerbet, uh, for when you've lost your memory during watching Alf Garnet on video? Yeah, I remember Alf Garnet. Yeah, because I don't think Alf Garnet is my type of comedy. That is a bad memory. Wait for a minute, so George. Oh, all right, no bear. As long as you're happy. Right, enjoy two of those clips. The first part is when he got angry, and the second one Oi! lost his memory. Oi! Don't you be abusive to your daughter! You know what? You bitch! You bitch me angry! Oh, 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 I don't care. Oh, 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 Ah, well, you're in a bed, uh, uh, but, yeah, because I remember well, what happened in the last episode. Because when you were angry, because um, all you did was run around like a maniac, and then you accidentally banged into a wardrobe. Oh, well, I don't remember that one. Now, because you need help with remembering, I'll let you have a go at some. Now, do you remember this? Oh, uh, 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 it's a cross bandicoot. <laughs> No, hair. It's just not Crash Bandicoot! Oh, oh. Right, ah, uh, here it is, Right, I'm gonna make you hurt your hair. Right, I'm gonna drop myself down. Oh! 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 I'm awake now. Well, I've had a good night's sleep. Well, I'm glad you are there, there. But how are you feeling now? Well, I feel completely happy now. Oh, yeah, sorry if I got angry during the Till Death Was Part video. Uh, that's quite alright, there, there. Well, I hope you learned your lesson now, because I don't think Minky and Didrick likes your attitude, and I certainly don't like that at all. Oh, I'm very sorry. Well, it's not my fault. Then whose fault is it, then? Uh, I think it's your fault. My fault? Yes, it's my fault. Well, because you just put the tilt up to a spot for the end of it. It's not. Right, carry on. Uh, that was oh, not very successful, but you've got your memory back. Hmm. After you banged your head on that very bit of wardrobe, you know, on top. Oh, uh, yeah. All thanks to Poe. Hmm. The crumpled pants and all. Ah, yeah, I know. 
but I'm also glad you're all right. That's the important thing. I want to speak, uh, speaking of important things, um, do you remember the time for when Arthur was very sad after you? Uh, no, I don't remember this one. Uh, come on, Herb, I'm sure you remember that, that when Arthur was a bit upset. Well, uh, it's not because that he's Mrs. Chloe Racken or anything. He just hates being light brown. Uh, actually, he hates being white. <gasps> no, I, I remember. I don't think actually believes him that he is a white bear. It's just because he's, he, because Rolf thinks he likes brown. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Arthur. Hey, it's all right. No need to cry. There, there, buddy. There, there. Be brave, my mate. That's why I'm always here for you. Oh. Yeah, I thought so. Huh? What? Arthur? Arthur? Wake up! Arthur, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, stop using my... Stop using your life! Stop using me, my mate! Stop using me! Uh, I'm not a towel! Uh, you should get a towel to sell! Uh, get off! Get off! Nah, uh. Go on, then. Squirt me in the face now. When you and I cheered up Arthur up by reading him a story first, <laughs> and then you squirted me in the face, which is not a funny thing. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no. don't you stop that man again. <laughs> Oi! That's it. I'm going to put some on to you. Oh, yeah. Oi, TV1! Well, it's a good thing you haven't said ITV1 for a while. Last phrase is up to me. Oh, oh yeah. Get off me! You... <sighs> All right. Now, do you remember the time uh, uh, it went jump when you looked at the DVD reel with your grandson? Yeah, I remember. Uh, we're not taking a movie on. Uh, that's Toy Story, do it? Ah, well, yeah. all you got to do is to point out which number is the right one to go. Oh, oh, that's easy. Uh, at least I don't have to use the DVD remote, do I? No, of course you don't. Anyway, now, which number do you want to go for? Uh, let's see, uh, oh, oh no, uh, I, I think it's that one here, yeah, because that's the missing piece over here. Oh yeah, okay, then let's have a look and see that. Very well. Oh yeah, sorry about that, now I'll let you have to move you out of the way. What's wrong? Right, anyway, now see, there's the puzzle piece going over to that bit here, and that's like a hammer nail. Oh yeah, so that's how the puzzle piece gets you. Yeah? yeah, that's right, it is. Okay, uh, so George, uh, what happens if you, uh, clicked on the wrong piece? Ah, now if you click on the wrong piece, which I'll show you now, see, a squirrel it takes over to the TV. Oh, so it's a bit like counterparting yes, squirrel, sir. So that was very successful of listening to the DVD read lot. Oh, uh, yeah, and we played a few games on here, like a puzzle. Uh, yeah, the magic puzzle it was. Yeah, because we don't normally have that on a DVD we long. No, but I'm glad they do on the DVD. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, two more things no to remember, and then that's about it, really, and there's nothing else. Very well. Right, uh, do you remember the time, no, but, uh, in which, um, when Arthur wants to become a brown bear, a bit like you, you know, like swapping bodies over? Yeah, I remember, because that's when Arthur just drank a potion. Yeah, full of bogeys and snot. Bogeys and snot! Yeah, yuck! Yuck, ye! <laughs> Lol, shut up, you! Oh, oi! Right, enjoy the clip. Right, your turn, Arthur. Okay! Ooh, I might want to enjoy drinking that. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah, I agree with you, my grandson. Hmm, I wonder if there's a magic world for uh, getting our voices swapped. What? Getting my voices swapped? Oh no, it's happening! Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 Aren't you gonna say anything? Hello, George. Hello, George. Oh, hello. George. What? You two? I'm afraid so, Rod. Uh, yeah, because I think it must have been that special drink that Arthur has given me. Yeah? Um, uh, you know that you are a brown big old fat bear? 
Yes, because I already know. But you know what? The, 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 oh, the, what? I don't like you at all. Your bed's too fat. And you're not too old. And you know what? You know how you're from? Tell you become one. So get out of it. Now how? Well, goodbye then. For now. <laughs> Stinky. inside me belly. Oh, it looks like I feel like I'm having a party in my tummy. Oh, yeah. So here. Yeah. Uh-oh. I think it's gonna... <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. That was when Arthur had made a big mistake because um, uh, Abby just made a mistake of looking at, um, at Arthur when you, were, when you were a white bear. Oh, yeah. But I'm also glad that the antidote worked. Right. Uh, one more thing to remember, yeah? Yeah, one more thing to remember. Do you remember the time, no, but, uh, when, you, when you had sushi with Shigru at the retirement phone for all toys for lunch? Yup, I remember. Because it was another good thing. But uh, yeah, and that was the only way to finish off your own show. <laughs> I know that. Oh, Miss Mia. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh, is that what we're having for lunch, Mr. Booster? Yes, Mr. Tree. Alright, what we're going to have for lunch. So I'll let you eat it yourself. Uh, yeah, sure. Have a sniff. Oh, what's that one? Ah, that's salmon. And we got, um, well, it's all salmon, really, with a bit of tuna. Oh, I like salmon. Well, I'm glad you do. Right, go and eat it, then. Very well. <gasps> Yum. I like sushi now. You're first to eat. Oh, okie dokie. Oh, let's have a look. Uh, oh, yes. I remember the sushi. Ooh, because this taste brings me back memories. One of us will eat some. <gasps> yup. Delicious as it is today. You're done. Oh, okay. Right, let's go and eat some. And I'm the last one. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. So that's sushi. Oh, I must want to look forward to tasting now. <gasps> Oops. I've knocked one off. Oh, don't worry about that. Don't worry. Yeah, I think we had the same problem back at the original, um, at my old pet bedroom before. So that I'll put it away for you. having sushi for lunch. Oh, yeah, and also Andrew is back on the, into the retirement phone. Yeah, because he's had his good holiday. Yeah, especially if it's like a Christmas holiday. Yeah, I know. Well then, Nova, so there you go. That's pretty much all we can remember now. Oh, uh, yeah, especially the funny bits. And what's your favourite funny bit? The 2,000-year-old man, of course. And who is the 2,000-year-old man? Uh, what do you think, viewers? Who is the 2,000-year-old man? Was it anybody? Or is it George Buxton here? <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll find out after the break. So don't go away. Woohoo! And say with me. Okay, now, viewers. Now, did you think of an answer during the break? Well, would it be George Buxton or anybody else? If you think George Buxton is a 2,000-year-old man, you may be right. Which George Buxton is a 2,000-year-old? Oi! Ah, I am not a 2,000-year-old man! Why did you ask the viewers out there? Uh, I just thought I might as well get from a guess by thinking it was you. I sorry, I'm not an old man. Are you wrong? Oh, no, they're not. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh pfft. Uh, problem. All right. Uh, sorry, no, but you get up now. Um, all right, then, George. Well, is that pretty much all we can remember now? Yep. Oh, oh good. Well, no, but so that's it, then. 
for the end of an era of your own show now. Because I don't think you'll be having your own show again. Yeah, because you're getting very old, aren't you? Yeah, I know. Uh, but of course we can still carry on and do the hair bear specials, can't we? Yeah, of course we can, Hair Bear. And besides, we're, we're going to be back on it very soon. Ooh. And I guess we're going to start with six months of Henry the Eighth. Yeah, because I got back for my birthday. Well, I know you did, Hair Bear. I won't have to make the right choice, though. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Hair Bear, I think you can go and do what you want to do now. Uh, of course not, Hair Bear. Uh, you know you haven't had a Christmas dinner yet? Yes. I think you might like to have your own Christmas special just before you go to the Jordan Jordan and Hair Bear special. Oh, yeah! That is an extremely good idea. At least I get to be on my own program again. Ah, uh, yeah. That makes it as a bonus episode for you. Good. Well, I'd better say goodbye now. Well, bye-bye then, viewers. Well, I will be back in my own show again, but I will be in the Christmas special. See you later. <laughs> and Merry Christmas, everyone, and a Happy New Year. Well... See you later, then, George, for two thousand year old man. Oh, hey! George, for two thousand year old man! Oh, oh, oh! Why do I even bother with that, Ben? I don't know why he keeps calling me a two thousand year old man since the first one began. <laughs> Whatever it is, that viewers. So there you go. Right, now, before we go uh, this afternoon, here is a very special treat for you. Here is the fifth montage. Of course, it's also the third montage of No Hair Bear Show, including the last one when I haven't finished the Home Alone bit on Series 4 Episode 7. So we'll start with that first, and then it's the Series 5 montage. Yeah, and we're going to start with the Lost clip. Well, join the montage. <laughs> It's not 2 o'clock in the morning, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon! 
Series 5. Oh, yeah. With a lost a funny clip from Series 4. That's when they watched Home Alone. And wow. Yeah, No Hair has his own show for a very long time now. Right, so unfortunately, it's time for me to go. Oh, and of course, No Hair Bear, however, will be back in the No Hair Bear Christmas special in which um, he gets to have his very first Christmas dinner. As he hasn't had one uh, before. Well, not after the roast dinner. Right, so as for this show, it's for, it's the final goodbye from me, George Buxton. So I'll t see you, see you then. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. <laughs>